So blemish removal, let's just bring it up to 100. And just like that, I've removed 90% of the blemishes. That's just amazing. And I did it in one second. It took me forever in Lightroom to go in and do all of these little healing spots on all of these. And Evoto just did it in one second. That's amazing. That is amazing to me. All right. So a lot of you guys, you're probably... Uh, like me and that you get a little set in your ways you get your workflow the way you like it for me personally I've used Lightroom um, since I became a photographer and started editing um, and from Lightroom gradually learned Photoshop and I'm still not a Photoshop guru I use it for what I need to uh, to complete my portraits and if I come up against some challenge that I don't know how to fix then you know eventually I learn something new uh, so let me check out this Avoto AI so uh, I did that and I was with one feature in particular was blown away at how much time it saved me. And that was with the skin uh, and the skin blemishes. So let's take a look at it and get into this. All right. So I'm in Lightroom and we'll go over to Avoto AI in a minute. But the one feature that really piqued my attention and I thought, you know, I just did this shoot real recently and we can see right away that the challenge that we have is there's going to be a lot of work that has to be done with the skin retouching and I saw something in uh, with Avoto AI about the 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 blemishes and the acne removal and somebody did it just they did it almost within seconds so I wanted to check that out because if you look at this I'm going to turn on my healing here and you can see when I turn that on all of these little spots, these are spots where I went in and did the healing tool right here to fix the blemishes. That's a lot of work. And I'm still not done. I still had to take it into later uh, Photoshop. And here's the actual Photoshop edit um, in the end. So, you know, I did a lot of work on the skin. And you can see just with just with these in here, I don't know how many of these are, but their forehead and, and everything else. So a lot of work. So in Evoto, we'll come over here. It has, if you come here, the same features as Lightroom. You can make the same adjustments. So you can bring, you import the raw file. Um, you can do multiple. You can do a folder if you want to and do multiples. And, you know, you just made, it's got the same adjustments. It uh, highlights shadows, exposure, um, the white balance. It pretty much does the same thing. Um, sharpness, vibrance. Um, the color grading, it's got a little color grading app here. I don't really use color grading that much. I usually just stick with the colors in the shot, make sure my white balance is close and uh, uh, same type of stuff. But what really piqued my attention here is when we come over to the portrait editing section. Now there's some, uh, you know, presets over here that you can use like natural. And uh, I actually like that. It does a really good job. Look at that. Just like that. I mean, it it removed it cleaned up a lot in the skin just like that but i'm going to go back to none and watch this so we're going to go back to the portrait retouching section and the first thing you have up here is this uh you can expand each section right i was in here early messing around actually i made the eyes pop a little bit let me turn that back i may have left one of these on where i was playing around but the blemish removal so watch the face here i'm just going to bring the freckle and acne all the way up and look at that. In one second, I got as far as I did, and I don't know how long it took me in Lightroom to get to the same place. I had to do all those little edits to get to roughly the same point. And I think I would say it even looks better in Evoto. It does. So I can just in once, and I brought it to 100, and it, I've still got the skin texture. I can still see the pores. There's still a little editing that will need to be done, you know, in here, right here where the fingers are. But really, I mean, in one second, look at that. I'll pull it back again. Just like that. That's amazing. So you can continue with a bunch of these other for you. That is the one that just kind of blew me away. I'm like, I'm sold. And with the way that they, you know, I'm not really into the subscription models. I like to own things in perpetuity and they don't really do a subscription model. They do it uh, by credit. So if I want to export this image out, that's one credit. So you buy a bundle of credits and that's what you, you know, once you run out of credits and you buy another bundle. So 
Um, that's what I did. They're not paying me to do this or anything. I just bought some credits because I thought this is a useful tool. There's before and there's after. So when I have some of the more challenging portraits, I'll bring them in here and use this. Most of the other stuff, I'll just stick with my workflow. But you know, as I get to use this even more, I mean, there's going to be, there's a lot more. There's some makeup features in here. You know, maybe I'll really start getting into these. I like this full body reshape stuff down here. Um, you can uh, make people look taller, make their legs look longer, all that kind of stuff. It's very cool. So um, I think I, I'm really liking this. And just for that acne removal feature alone, just save me, you know, a lot of time. And then Here's the thing, I probably did like 10 headshots of her and I did not want to go through and retouch all of those. Um, now with this and, and this kind of shot, you know, with the before and you're seeing that and I have 10 shots to go, I can just do that in one second and, you know, it looks like this already. No brainer, man. That means I can edit a lot more headshots in a lot less time and offer them up. So that is just so cool. What do you guys think? Um, do you want to see more edits in Evoto? Um, what do you think about the whole buying it for the credits and, and all that? It's not really a subscription. You're 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 purchasing, you know, the right to export the image out. Next, every time you export an image out, that's a credit. What do you think about that? Um, I, I'd rather, like I said, own things in perpetuity, but that's just not the way they're doing things now. Everything's subscription based. So, um, if you guys like this, give it a like. Uh, give me a subscribe if you want to keep seeing more. Hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. Oh,